Welcome back, welcome back. This is M3, Optimize the Computer Program to Meet Client Requirements. Now this again was copied directly from the Unit 4 spec, that's it, yeah? So these are methods for improving and refining and optimizing examples. So they've given us every single thing that we need for this section other than how do you do it to your specific code. So I would go through the first thing I would do, let me not read that list first, before we even get to that list, what does optimize mean? Find a reference. That's the first thing I would do. If you don't want to use this list here, that's perfectly fine. If you don't want to use this list on how to optimize, you can go on Google. And here I have a Google search. I share this document at some point, how to optimize a computer program. Literally just type this into Google and it will give you a nice list of things that you can do. But on the spec directly from BTEC, this is what they've said. And let me just go through the list quickly and maybe explain a few of them. So if you do want to use this list, that's perfectly fine. You don't need to mention everything on here, but you do need to do some of them. Um, so for example, it says annotate code to allow effective repair debugging of the program and maintainability. All this means is put comments in your code. So if I go back to my thing over here, rather than just having this with no explanation, I could put a comment here. So it would just be hashtag and I would explain what this section is actually doing. I'm going to come back to this. So I'm going to leave it for now. The next part is a uh, program compilation for a designated platform or environment, not something you need to concern yourselves with right now because Python is multi-platform, which is very good already. I think the only issues you really have with Python is in, I don't remember which one it is, but in Windows, I think it's forward slash, no, win Windows is backslash. And if you use Linux, I believe it's forward slash when you have to like go to get a file in a specific location. But other than that, there's not much you have to worry about. Next part is review, uh, quality of program in terms of reliability, usability, efficiency, performance, maintainability, and portability. Yes, these are very, very good. You won't need to look at all of these. The main one that you need to probably focus on is uh, maintainability, portability, and maybe the quality of a program in general. So how quality is it? Uh, does it have comments? Can I move it over to Windows and it works? Can I move it over to Mac OS and it works? That's portability. And uh, there's not much else you need to focus on here. You can also get feedback from others. Um, so your peers, your teachers, probably not the best person to get it from, but maybe your peers who are relatively on the same level as you. Some might be slightly above, some might be slightly below, but that's perfectly fine have them look at the code or have them run the program and have them try to make mistakes, have them try to do things. For example, I think in my previous video, I showed, let me scroll down. I showed here where I did something and it didn't work. I should ideally have a catch for this so that my program doesn't crash. So if the thing asks for a letter and I gave it a number, it shouldn't crash. It should just keep repeating, asking me for what it wants until I enter something correctly. Because if my program crashes mid game on a big stage, it's, it's a big flop, right? Next is uh, we make use of outcomes of testing and feedback. So test the program, get feedback from people and fix it. So these two are probably tied together really nicely. And then finally, we have documenting changes to design and solution. That's what we've been doing this entire process um, anyway. So that's fine. How do you optimize? These are the things that I would probably focus on for most people. Again, user feedback, own review and feedback, results from testing, comment the code and actually optimizing the code as in fixing things, make, making things slightly better. So making some, uh, some things a little better. And I'm going to go back and show what that means again. So these are the things that I would focus on for most people. User feedback, just like you did for design and just like you did for one of the other sections as well, where you give the code to someone, have them run it or run it on your PC have someone come and sit there, have them go through the entire process and have them give you feedback. Oh, that was a bit quick. That was a bit slow. Oh, that thing crashed over there. You had a spelling mistake there. Oh, this doesn't explain very well what needs to happen. Whatever you think is necessary is okay. And uh, let me go back to the main one now. So user feedback, we know, own review and feedback, we know, results from testing, we know, comments. So as I mentioned before, let's just say this is a thing I need to explain, right? No one knows what this is if you don't know Python, right? So I'm going to say, I'm going to put a hashtag. That's how you do a comment in Python. Let me zoom all the way in. I'm going to say list for team names, something simple like that. That's actually good enough. And I would go through and I would do this thing or something similar for every single chunk or every single section of code. So here I'm going to have, um, all the scores of all the teams probably not the best way to say that but that's fine i've already did i've already done that one i'm going to scroll down here as well i'm going to say this is the function hashtag again first function that runs 
a welcome message user details I, I don't know whatever you think is best sometimes i go through and do every single line i don't think you really need to do that but for stuff like this i could probably put hashtag here I, all i did I, um here by the way is i clicked on the very end of it and i pressed tab a few times so it moves in and i could put sleep for half a second explain things in the code so when somebody else who doesn't know everything about python picks up your code they can be like oh Oh, that's what the function does. I see. I see. That makes sense. Oh, that's what that function does. It just sleeps for half a second. Oh, that's what that thing is. It makes it a global variable. So maybe put a hashtag here as well and comment on these things. Probably all you need to do for the commenting section. So now the final one is how do you make some things better? The first one I can think of is probably this one here. This is a horrible way to do this. A much better way is to use a list. So put a hashtag here, single list for not for it, for all scores. Very, very easy. So I could do, let's say, all team scores equal. I have a list, so square brackets, and I put 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. That means that location 0 is going to be team 1, and location 0 is the first one here. So actually, let's put some sense of numbers in here. So 10, uh, 30, 10, 50 and let's say 90 for that one so location zero which is the 10 that's going to be the score of the first team location one this is location two this is location three this is location four now yes it goes to four because in python and some other languages we actually start counting from zero not from one so this is a much much more efficient way of doing this because look i've used one single line versus using five lines for doing the exactly the same thing and because this is a list in python it's not a tuple no a list is something that can be updated so later on i could simply say 10 plus i don't know whatever 10 plus 10 and it will give me an actual value and up and keep this list updated with the proper scores it does the same thing as this but this is a much more efficient way okay i'm going to stop there. i think i've made my point i could put all these four or five lines on a single print statement, it's going to give me exactly the same thing. I could do new line characters, I can do tab spaces, and it will give me exactly the same thing. And this is how I would optimize. So when it comes to this section down here that says annotate code and simply needs to add comments, that's fine. Screenshot the before, uh, the optimize, and after the optimize. What I would do, let me scroll up to this one here, that's probably a bit easier to show. I would screenshot this. All right? I would screenshot that. Go back to my Word document, and I would show before put that one there oh, it's a bit big but that's fine i'm gonna do after as well i'm gonna do after i'm gonna come here i'm gonna screenshot this one screenshot that and again to screenshot that by the way it's just what did i do again windows flag so windows flag plus shift i think S H I F T plus s and that brings up the screenshot thing in windows 10 and windows 11 it's very easy to work with so I would do the before, after, and I would do the why. I would do a why here. So why was this done? This was done to reduce the amount of lines in my code. The more lines that my program has to go through, the more work my processor is going to do, the less efficient my program is going to be. I drop this down from being five lines to being one lines, means that my program should be a lot more efficient. And then I would also go back and I would screenshot that other thing I did, which was, I believe, this print thing here grab something like that now again it doesn't have to be many of them i would only make two three maybe four of them to show different things being optimized i would do again before i would paste that one there we scroll up a bit i would do after this one is going to be a bit tricky to catch but let me just catch as much of it as it makes sense to catch let's just say i stop there, right let's say for argument's sake that's the after then here i would do the why so why did I do this? Again, I've got one, two, three, four, five print statements. And in Python specifically, print statements actually take a lot of processing power. So rather than having five print statements, printing some simple variables, it just makes a lot more sense for me to have a single print statement and just add them onto each other and put a new line character where I need to put one in. I didn't do it here for this one, but put a new new line character where it needs to be in. And that's it. That's actually how you optimize this is general genuinely how you optimize you put your comments in you make your code a bit shorter in some places and you should be good to go for the optimized section so please have a look at the spec have a look at these bullet points here see how many of them you can fill in and 
yeah, that's it. So good luck. Hopefully that was useful.